Greetings and welcome to uh, day 10 or lesson 10 of 365 of A Course in Miracles. I'm Jay and I'm just traveling through this book just like you. Thanks for joining me. So lesson 10 is my thoughts do not mean anything. Number one, this applies to all thoughts of which you are aware or become aware in the practice periods. The reason the idea is applicable to all of them is they are not your real thoughts. The reason the idea, my thoughts do not mean anything, is applicable to all of them is that they are not your real thoughts. We have made this distinction before and will do so again. You have no basis for comparison as yet. When you do, you have no doubt that what you once believed were your thoughts did not mean anything. Number two, this is the second time we have used this kind of idea. The form is only slightly different. This time the idea is introduced with my thoughts instead of these thoughts. And no link is made overtly with the things around you. The emphasis is now on the lack of reality of what you think you think. The emphasis now is on the lack of reality of what you think you think. Number three, this aspect of the correction process began with the idea that the thoughts of which you are aware are meaningless outside rather than within, and then stress their past rather than their present status. Now we are emphasizing that the presence of these thoughts means that you are not thinking. Now we are emphasizing that the presence of these thoughts means that you are not thinking. This is merely another way of repeating our earlier statement that your mind is really a blank. To recognize this is to recognize nothingness when you think you see it. That's, wow. To recognize this is to recognize nothingness when you think you see it. As such, it is the prerequisite for vision. That's heavy. Number four, close your eyes for these exercises and introduce them by repeating the idea for today quite slowly to yourself. Then add, this idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. This idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. The exercises consist, as before, in searching your mind for all the thoughts that are available to you. Without selection or judgment, try to avoid classification of any kind. In fact, if you find it helpful to do so, you might imagine that you are watching an oddly assorted procession going by, which has little, if any, personal meaning to you. As each one crosses your mind, say, my thought about blank does not mean anything. This idea will help release me from all that I now believe. Today's thought can obviously serve for any thought that distresses you at any time. In addition, five practice periods are recommended, each involving no more than a minute or so of mind searching. It is not recommended that this time period be extended, and it should be reduced to half a minute or less if you experience discomfort. Remember, however, remember, however, to repeat the idea slowly before applying it specifically, and to also add, this idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. Wow, 10. That's awesome. I'm glad that you're still with me. Um, in This one is, a, is, again, like each one of these, I feel like, building on the on the last on the last lessons and they're just kind of building us up trying to again all of this is all reversal of thought you don't exactly have to understand it and I think that it is natural for your ego or uh, your your you know your manager and your firefighter 
um, which I'll refer to probably many times in this these these many lessons um, that are telling you now that this is this is nuts. This is not how the world works. But maybe it is. And uh, you know, I, at this point, what do you have to lose? Um, you know, there there are so many thoughts, at least for me during the day, um, annoying thoughts, or just whether it's being annoyed at myself or being annoyed with somebody else. And uh, I think that this definitely will apply for me today. You know, my thought about uh, my my thoughts about anxiety for a meeting I have later today does not mean anything. This idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. So if I can get to a point where that actually works, I, I, I think that that would do nothing but lessen my anxiety. Thanks for joining me again today. Number 10. Here's to the next 10. Cheers. High fives. And I'll see you tomorrow.